Hi there, my name is Adrienne Prince and today I'm here to share with you the one thing that anyone can do anywhere in the world to help shift our planet to one of peace and justice, protect all of life and create a beautiful reality that we can all share. I'm sending this message out to you globally today because I need you to know that what you think and what you do and what you stand for completely makes a difference. And I have a practice that I want to share with you today, what I call anchored intention. I grew up in the 1970s in the United States, a very typical modern household. But around the age of seven years old, I started to have dreams and inner impressions that seemed to come from an angelic level. I had dreams in which children all gathered during their night sleep in what we called the soul school and we were being instructed by angels on certain principles to take care of the planet and anchor a spiritual reality as our everyday truth. The biggest lesson that I learned is that each and every person on the planet right now has an equal right to participate in the spiritual health and well-being of the planet itself. We do this by uniting with the earth and allowing ourselves to know from within what's really true and to anchor it as the reality that we prefer. It was hard for me to believe when I got this information that transforming the world could be that simple but it's like a group art project, a big sandbox, and everybody is making an equal impact no matter where we are, what predicaments we're in, even if we're in prison, if we're in slave labor, we still participate. And that's a very powerful place for us to be. So even as a child, I knew that my thoughts and my feelings count. And not just in a passive way, like, oh, you create your reality but in a genuine mm, kind of way. And this is why when you are confronted by realities that are frightening, for instance, the prospect of radiation in our water and in our air, police state, economic hardship, uh, cruelty to people and cruelty of governments, all of this is something that we get to combat if we want to on the spiritual planes because face it, a lot of the physical, political levers have been removed without great, great danger. Um, and the, phys the spiritual plane is where all change begins anyway. So I hope you'll join with me on your spiritual plane and I'm going to share you with you right now my best practice exercise for shifting reality.